What does my raw vegan diet and lifestyle have to do with my daily yoga practice? You might be surprised. Stick around to find out. And also, you're going to get to see my entire 75-minute daily yoga practice sped up in under 8 minutes with a voiceover. Enjoy. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Here's my yoga practice. And fast forward, <laughs> this normally takes me about an hour to do. I do it every single morning. I woke up at 3 a.m., which is not uncommon, but it's usually one of the first things I do after I journal, I meditate, and I do some reading. Then I do my yoga practice, and I love doing my yoga practice. Today is actually 144 days in a row without one break. I got into yoga about four years ago, I think-ish, and it's a great story on how I got introduced. But first, I just want to say the only reason I'm even making this is for Steven. I think it's Gutenberg or Guttenberg. He messaged me on Facebook. I just noticed it last night and he had some questions about my yoga practice. He had heard me mention it. So I figured I'd make this video and kind of let him know and anybody else who cares to watch know about my yoga practice. So um, again, super proud of you, Stephen. You're on your raw journey, lost over 70 pounds. You, you sounds like you've got a pretty good workout routine. You're doing walking, push-up variations, pull-up variations, very similar to me as well. And you're older than my dad, which is pretty impressive. So congratulations. And yeah, I highly recommend and encourage you to jump right in and give it a shot. This is the Amrit Institute. Um, I think it's level one is what it's called. So it's a basic, it's a very introductory level of yoga, but I've been doing it for several years now. When I first got introduced to it, I did it every single morning for I think almost a full year. But the way that after I rejected my wife telling me I should do yoga, many years after that, about three or four years ago, I think now I had my first of several, <laughs> come to find out, manic psychotic episode where I actually had to get locked up in an institution. And I think, well, actually, I think it was my second episode. I was in an institution where they actually had a graduate from the Amrit Yoga Institute come in. And I think she volunteered and she brought yoga into the facility that I was locked up in. And because I guess I didn't have anything better to do, I thought, let me give this a shot. And so we did, I don't know, it was probably a 20 or 30 minute like short yoga routine. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. I got, I fell asleep during the meditative part of, which I guess there's not really a meditative part of yoga. It is all meditation and breathing and obviously the the poses and the postures and so forth but I just thought it was the coolest thing ever I actually remembered her name the place that she went and I said when I get out of here if I get out of here I'm going to I'm going to make it a point to try and take my wife on this yoga retreat and sure enough we did not too long after I got out of that facility we took a 3 day yoga retreat down to Salt Springs Florida unfortunately that place has actually been uh, shut down now. <clears throat> I think COVID took them out. But in either case, we had an amazing time. They had uh, really, really good food. It was all included. Um, it wasn't raw, but I mean, it was it was plant-based and uh, I think it was Ayurvedic is what they called it. So really, really good quality food outside of being raw. But we both really enjoyed it. And that introduced me to this this practice. I actually bought a DVD with this exact series on there and then I've kind of committed it to memory now but I have it recorded and I just basically go through this like I said every single morning and I have for the last 144 days another cool thing is just like you Stephen I, I work out every other day uh, doing pull-ups and deadlifts and bench press and uh, bent over rows and shoulder press, basically just compound exercises, but this is a great way to prepare myself, um, stretching and preparing my muscles and getting my, my breathing right, my blood flow right, and just a great way to like, before I work out, to kind of get my body into it. So uh, that's basically my intro into yoga. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm constantly trying to learn, and I do find that ever since I've started to do yoga and kind of like committed to the practice of yoga that I have had a lot less anxiety. I've had a lot more mindfulness and just overall just kind of a happier demeanor and attitude in my life. So if you've never actually tried yoga and you want to get into it, it's simple as ordering a mat 
online or go to a store and buy a yoga mat. And then you can get any kind of video off YouTube just similar to what I'm doing. You could actually type in Amrit Level 1, Amrit Yoga Level 1, A-M-R-I-T. And this, I think they have like a 35-minute augmented, basically this same uh, routine, just a little bit shorter, about a 30-minute 30, 30 routine. And you could actually start off with that or something really similar to this. And again, there's hundreds of different videos free on YouTube of all different types of yoga. This one is just a little bit more meditative. It's slower. It's like the perfect balance between like effort and ease to me. And I really enjoy it. But any of them are probably good. And any yoga I think is probably better than no yoga at all. But the key I think is just to jump right in and give it a shot. You can't go wrong. And it's you got a whole lot to gain from implementing the practice. In summary, I'll just say that in my own experience so far, I'm very early on in my raw food journey and really my yoga journey as well. But to me, a lot of the people that I look up to and admire that are really, really into the raw food lifestyle are really open to yoga. If they don't already have a yoga practice, they're definitely big fans of it. Not to say there aren't amazing people that are doing 100% carnivore diet that are into yoga as well. But to me, they do have a lot more in common than I initially thought. So I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch it. Steven, I really appreciated you reaching out to me, asking for my opinion. And if there's anything else I can help you with or any questions you have, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And I know this wasn't exactly food-related or raw food-related, but to me, it all kind of goes along with the same idea of just health and a better life. So thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up on the video and comment below. Thank you.